the shit? No, no. No, th this just can't be. No. No, 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 no. What the crap? I am not... What? Yo, TD, come downstairs. Yo, what's up, buddy? Uh, what? Oh. Oh, oh, that ain't good. No, no, no. No bueno, no, no bueno para nada. My thoughts exactly, buddy. How the frick are we on the most overrated creepypastas ever list? <laughs> this just makes no sense. You know what, buddy? Maybe we're just not scary anymore. I wouldn't be so sure about that. <laughs> not scary anymore. My ass is scarier than my face. Look, buddy. I know you're disappointed, and so am I. But to be honest, I guess we gotta move on with our lives, you know? We can't be the scary bad guys anymore. Bullshit. I say we take back what was once ours, and we make sure that these quote-unquote monsters don't get away with it. Is this even necessary? Very necessary. <laughs> These mofos aren't gonna get away with it. We gotta take out the competition in style. Okay, suit yourself. According to this list, the internet claims that a group of animatronic furries are scarier than us. Well, they do have a point. Furries are scary Af. That, with the endoskeleton of a regular Terminator, poof. These guys are dangerous. <laughs> My kind game. So, this is where we're gonna start our killing spree. Yup. Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. What kind of horrors are we gonna find in here? I don't know. Four fags in alien outfits? A child molesting purple dinosaur? Huh, <laughs> the possibilities are endless. Nah, it seems to be much simpler than that. A rabbit, a teddy bear, and a duck. Um, dude, I think that's a chicken. Same, same, but different. Huh? Who goes there? So, they decided to bring in two more filthy animatronics, huh? be happy. <laughs> Not as happy when I run you out of business, bitch! Overrated creepypasta my ass. Screw the freaking lore. Yeah, I agree. It's way, way too complicated. Who do you think that was? He sounded like some sketchy security guard. Rubs. But now that you mention it, did you just kill an innocent man? Nah, but I think we should just go into the security room. Alrighty. So, are we seriously spending five nights at Freddy's? Nah, I'm not feeling it. You know, I have a feeling I'll get bored by night three. With these scary animatronics, not being able to move out of the room, you know, that sort of shit. Yeah, it could get really boring from here on out. Oh, which reminds me, I'll be right back. Wait a minute, EXE, you're gonna blow our cover. Get your ass back in this room. What? I had to take care of something. Ugh, you know what? W whatever. By the way, I know I said screw the lore, but what's the story behind this place? Well, see, a sketchy security guard strapped four children into these cute animatronics, and they come to life at night. Like so! Family friendly companions during the day. Psychopathic furries at night. I dig it. <laughs> this ought to be interesting. Frick, the 
bunny is on to us. Don't we all? Right. Well, these psychopathic furries aren't gonna haunt anyone anymore. Not unless they make sister locations. Which we're probably not gonna visit due to scheduling. Perhaps one or two more, but I think after that we're done. What? What are you talking about? I for one think it's hilarious to beat the shit out of furries. Yeah, I guess you have a point. Maybe one or two and that's it. Yeah, boy. Up top. Now, let's go home and plan out our next attack. Oh yeah. But wait a minute. What happened to the dead guy? Oh yeah. Funny you should ask. Well, you see... Remember earlier when I left you in the security room? Yeah, I just remembered about the dead guy in the hallway, and decided that things that are gonna get messy, so... I, um, strapped him in a yellow rabbit suit, so that he could come back to life as Franken Rabbit. And so that I can beat the shit out of him 30 years in the future. Cause why the frick not? And how the hell do you expect to time travel? I don't know. Chaos Emerald, maybe? <laughs> They're popping everywhere these days.